Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. On this channel we talk mainly about makeup, beauty, lifestyle. And if you want to join the family, please subscribe down below on the subscribe button. So yeah, today I wanted to continue with the Will I Buy series. And recently there have been a few more releases. I think makeup co companies are slowly planning their comeback. So we have fairly a lot to talk about too. As you know, I will go to the Instagram page of Trend Mode and we talk about the most recent. So I start with this one, which is available now in Europe and it's the Essence Wanna Be My Honey collection, which comes with an all over balm, a makeup remover with makeup remover pads, the color changing glow lipstick, which changes from yellow to pink. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know why it's cool. Matting fixing powder and the luminizing primer as well as the highlighting brush and the eyeshadow brush. And it looks like, wait, it's already available and they had like also an eyeshadow palette which is cute and a highlighter palette. It's an eyeshadow and a highlighter palette. It is cute, um, to be fair, it's a decent collection, I think, I don't need the all over balm, like I have my skincare as I said, I don't need a setting powder, like if you're oily, maybe you check it out, I like Ellie, I really like the honey theme, I would really like it, I like these, <laughs> I think it's really cute, the honey luminizer primer is cute, that would be my jam more, but um, it's nothing like I say I ran out of the house to get it and I would ask my mom to ship it from Europe to Hong Kong for me. I think the eyeshadow palette is decent. I also like the highlighter. They're okay. But it's nothing like I can make a lot of looks with. Like I feel like it's kind of... Yeah, I have the Urban Decay Honey Palette and I'm good with that, like I don't need the Essence one and I think the Urban Decay one is so good, that's such a good palette and if you want to, I'll make some looks for you if you're interested in buying this palette because for me that's one of the best golden neutral palettes out here and yeah, that's it, I don't need another honey theme palette, I'm good but all in all, it's on a uh, collection and then Fenty Beauty also came up, I think that was in discussion even before, but they delayed now the release of the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks, which have a sheer lightweighted creamy lipstick formula, which are nourishing and also shining, uh, making your lips plump, plumper and fuller. And they come in 10 shades and they are 22 um, US dollars each. Now, they delayed the release for to the 20th June and I really, I really wanted to try some out, especially those pinkish reddish shade, I'm really interested in. I will definitely check them out when they're in store, I think that's cool, I'm so over all, I'm so over the matte lipsticks, like, I was a real lover of Kylie lipsticks, like, I had so many and I recently decluttered them and I made a video if you want to see that. Tell me please tell me the two but it's a little bit of a not so good video that's why i never wanted to upload it and it's a little bit messy and i don't really explain you just see me decluttering the kali lipsticks and i think i decluttered like more than 50 because i had like over 100 i'm not i'm not sure i don't want to lie or maybe i had 70 or something like that i have to look it up again <laughs> because i i took notes how many i decluttered um but i'm all about now Sheer shiny lipstick, moisturizing, velvet is also okay, but matte is not so mild anymore. Now listen, this is something I have never seen before. It's a brand, it's called Fresh O2. And I have never heard about this brand, but I think it's Chinese. Because Trend Mood has some Chinese characters on the, on the explanation when they swatch the lipsticks and it's a whole Donald Duck collection it's cute the packaging is cute um, the lipsticks are basic I don't need the palette is also very very basic like I have five million palettes of this already nothing I need I don't need lip balms I have so many they are all over the place they are in every fr freaking bag of mine I don't need more the bag is okay too but 
they don't say the price, it will be available on June 11th in Asia on Freshel 2. Never heard of this brand, it has already been released, I guess I have nobody heard talking about that. It's not like something also I would run out and get it, it's not like, it's cute packaging, but am I collecting packaging? No, I have to stop. Next. <laughs> Just next. Then there's also a brand I have never heard before, which is called Ritual de Fille. It's French, I guess, and I hope I had French in school and I'm so bad, like I'm so sorry. Ritual de Fille, it means something ritual of women, something like, or gods. And it's their color nectar pigment palm, and it's dewy, translucent, moisturizing, blendable. And all the good stuff which I need, it's also kind of like in, I think, infused with honey. My skin loves honey, everything is honey. My skin gets so soft. The colors look good. Personally, I want to see other people like buying this and talking about it. It looks very fresh. It's 24 US dollars. It's cruelty free. That's a good... It looks nice and maybe I will check it out. They don't actually actually say what it is, but I think if it's a balm, it's something between a blush or something you can also put on your lips. And I think it looks fairly good. I I will probably wait till people say something. Now the next thing. Now the next thing is from Dragon Beauty and it's Nikita's Dragon's beauty brand and <laughs> like I didn't like the first launch she had with the color correcting thing and the weird powder and then she had a palette which looked so creepy and now she's releasing another color correcting primer in a lavender color which is better like I didn't got the orange color because I know she said it's universal but I don't think I can wear orange orange uh, concealer under my eyes I would look like crazy Will I get it? Am I excited? Am I think she's releasing really cool stuff? No. Am I thinking she is using releasing kind of like more safe stuff? Yes, but I don't think this brand is something worth to be like going crazy about. Except you're really a Nikita Dragon fan, which I'm not. I don't watch her channel. I don't know her. I can't say anything about her. I just don't like the product she launched. Personally, that's all it. It's a pass for me, maybe you are interested, then get it if you're a fan, please. The next thing, Charlotte Tilbury brought out three matte revolution lipsticks in Wedding Bells, Mrs. Kiss and First Dance, where you can get the lipstick and the lip pencil for 53 US dollars and the lipstick, the lip pencil, mascara and blush for 122 US dollars. It looks really pretty, but personally, I think as I'm wearing like I I really like lipstick listen I love lip tints I love lipstick I love lip gloss I have like a passion for lip gloss right now right now I can only wear face mask around because I, if I go to uni I have to wear a face mask it's like mandatory and I have so many lipsticks and also in these shades already and I don't, uh, as I said before, I don't, I'm not really fancy about the matte lipsticks anymore. So I don't think I will put my money on this, even though I think it's very beautiful. I love Charlotte Tilbury. I think the brand is has beautiful stuff, has usable stuff, especially for everyday life. Like, so good. I have the Charlotte Tilbury, the, the palette, the neutral one. I plan on it maybe here, I don't know the name, it's so good, it's such a good palette, like it has everything you need. I think Charlotte Tilbury is a really good brand, I think the woman really needs and knows what she's doing, but it's nothing I need right now, that's the thing. And I have to stop by. <laughs> now it's, let's shortly talk about the Naked palette because I ordered it and I hope it arrives soon because I will do my review on it. So stay tuned guys on my channel, I will do some looks and I will review this just to shortly mention it. That's all I say and then I will immediately move on to the Colourpop release which I think is cute. I think it's good too. What's happening? Now, I don't exactly like all of the new palettes they released. I don't care about the highlighters, I don't care, care about the eyeliners they have and 
whatever like but i really like the greenish palette and the palette which is pinkish blue even though i i ranted about blues in my last place i think this is fairly cute because this is like what i need when i have like my pastel moment in life <laughs> and i really missed ColourPop. i can't tell you like i was you getting used to getting a freaking update on ColourPop every week and then they were silent and i was like where are you like we need you okay so they released three palettes called the cloud dye eyeshadow palette vault which where you can each get for 12 US dollars each and the vault is for 36 then you get a gale liner kit where you can get the whole set for 36 US dollars one for six US dollars the clam glitter gel for eight US dollars the super shock highlighters for 12 US dollars each the solo mini try oil in Rainbow Crow for 12, uh, 10 US dollars each, and the full collection is 128. It's really a cheap price. Like, if you want this, get it. I don't need. I mean, the highlighters are kind of cute too. Now that I look at it, I like the uh, lighter one, but I guess I have something like that. I have never tried the big highlighters from ColourPop. The glitter I don't really care about, and also the gel liner I don't care about. The trial I don't care about. I, I'm interested into the palettes actually. Even the other one, which kind of looks like the Baby Got Peach palette, it's still cute. They have pressed glitter store. I know some people don't like that. For me, that's a pretty collection. <laughs> it would be so perfect if they released that in spring. Like, if we got that in April, May, not in June, because now I'm kind of feeling like summer, but whatever I, I don't know actually what's going on in this world like I'm still living in 2019 or I don't know never mind all in all cute collection I think I maybe get something not at the moment but I will definitely want to check this out then something else um, round three from makeup by Tami I think I heard about her before wait let me check her yes 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 yes, yes. I heard about her I have personally never tried anything but listen makeup revolution and her brought out the twilight the tropical twilight collection which contains a palette for 20 pounds the paradise glow face palette for 10 the golden hour face palette for 10 pounds and the lip trio set which is a lip liner and two nude lip glosses for 10. i think the palette is beautiful i get the tropical twilight because it's kind of like a sunset it's nothing I'm reaching for. I think I would not get a lot of use out of this palette, even though it's very pretty. The face palettes are too deep for me, but I'm happy that we have face palettes for people with deeper skin tones. And then, as I said, I have so many lip products, I don't need any more. I won't get anything in this collection, but I think it's beautiful. The packaging is a dream. I wish we could go on vacation because this sends me to vacation mode. But I like it, but it will be a pass. I'm so sorry. Then also, guys, <laughs> Etude House released with Disney the Tsum Tsum collection. And it's like the little Disney characters on the uh, on the packaging which is they release jelly mousse tint lip tint the set is for 60 US dollars then the jelly blur balm they don't say how much this is and the lovely cookie blusher for 9.10 US dollars you get also the zero seven drying powder the cushion puff ship and dale for 6.5 US dollars three in one face brush for 9.10 US dollars lip and cheek set 30.20 US dollars and it's available on June 12th in Asia online and at Youth House Official. Why they have such weird prices, first of all? Mm. Packaging is adorable. It is... The only thing I would be interested in is the cushion, which has like the peachy or the lavender undertone, which is color correcting. The rest is nothing groundbreaking. Maybe the blush, I have not so many blushes like chill Laura chill Laura it's okay it's nothing also I'm like I'm jumping out of the house to get no Urban Decay released a new mascara and it's called the Lash Freak mascara 
not we don't have any updates on this but that's like the weirdest brush I have ever seen in my life and I don't get it that much I mean maybe the tip the round tip is for getting the small hairs but it looks freaky yeah lash freak suits the name <laughs> like kind of weirdish I don't know well I'm not into mascara that much I have a lot of mascara right now it's going out of hand I'm good 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 Huda Beauty brought out a new setting spray which is now the Clo Coco Hydrating Mist and it's infused with coconut milk and coconut oil and hydrates and super glow everything around actually however I know beauty I don't know I have to smell it first because the first setting spray from Huda Beauty is like you get a headache I can't describe it differently like you spray it on and you get a headache I tried it on on the Sephora in Hong Kong because I know that a lot of people complained about the scent and it's horrible like horrible like it's like I don't know what she does why she sent she put so much sand in her product I don't get it like it has no purpose it has no use if you want to put a scent then put please a scent which does not put me like into a freaking migraine please please I hope it's like fairly only small like a piece of coconut we don't need the freaking whole coconut all over my face like I really hope for her otherwise that's really interesting I would check it out the next thing is from elf and they they released that you collection which is the eyeshadow palette the retour eyeshadow palette 18 pieces for 14 US dollars cheap the dream on lip coats you get for five US dollars each the primer glow oil for 10 US dollars the liquid glitter eyeshadow five US dollars cheap really cheap glow up body oil 12 US dollar each the line and shine lip kit which is like a lip liner and lip gloss okay and the multi-dimensional face and body shimmer for 10 us dollars and the multi-dimensional face and body shimmer for 10 us dollars the glow up body brush for 10 us dollars the five piece brush for 20 us dollars the sticker sheet for one us dollars why ever whatever the lifestyle kit which is the sticker sheet, the Red to Shine scrunchies, the lip gloss in a moment, and the hydrating coconut mist for 20 US dollars, and the sponge radio for 10. Like, this is such a your collection, let me just comment on each product a little bit. The kit, I don't need, I don't need the brushes, I don't need the, the sponges, I'm really good. And I think this picture here is the glow oil. Do I need to put oil on my body? I don't know. Mm. Personally, I think I don't get anything because Elf is so hard to get outside from the US, I think. Or am I mistaken? Like, I really have a hard time finding it in Hong Kong. Like, it's barely there. Then I would have to directly order from the side, which, you know, because I want to see it first before I buy it. Um, in Europe it's so hard like if you know in Germany there is like this huge beauty store it's called Müller and it's also uh, available in Austria the same store and they have elf but they have elf like from 2015 like they never I think they never like show the new stuff they only have the really old stuff nobody buys and now they have it it's like hard to get I don't know I think I don't get it <clears throat> the next thing I'm so confused about is from Kim Kardashian's line and it's the classic 2 palette and she also included uh, so many lip glosses, 11 lip glosses and the full collection. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start like this. The eyeshadow palette you can buy for 55 US dollars. The, U the, <laughs> the nude glosses for 20 US dollars, the bundle for 200. Crazy. The full collection for 230, the classic palette duo for 85 US dollars and the lip duo is for 42 and it's available on June 20th. Like, isn't that looking like every other palette she released? Like, I don't want to be shady. And I know it's Kim, it's Kim, definitely. Kim is nude lip and bronzy eye, like, uh, eyeshadow look, right? There's nothing like crazy. 
but like at some point after the fifth eyeshadow palette you release it has to start start a little bit that it's changing and then know that she had the Mario one which had like the pop of blue but I think all of her makeup is so I mean the swatches look good but it's so uninspiring and it looks all the same and at least she released lip glosses with deeper skin for deeper skin types but personally that's really <sighs> I don't know nothing I'm excited about like maybe you if you really need another 50 then the, the next new eyeshadow palette I don't so that's a pass for me I'm not a hater I like the Kardashians I don't have anything against them just personal personal opinions Morphe brought out a coca-cola collection like collaboration with coca-cola which is like a palette for 22 US dollars lip in the moment for piece lip collection for 19 Sweep It Real 7 pieces eye and highlighter brush collection and a bag for 29 US dollars. The Glow Places Loose Highlighter in 3 shades available 15 US dollars and the Quench Pack 4 piece beauty sponge collection for 15 US dollars. Um, I only have one picture. In the palette there are only 3 reds which I'm a little bit confused. I also don't see any black. And I see a lot of neutrals and the blue. I'm a little bit confused. Mm, I don't need the brushes. The lip glosses look not that good. Like I'm also not a fan of loose highlighter. Like it's a mess. Like it's always a mess with loose highlighter. All it flies all over the place. I don't need that. Especially in the morning when I'm in a hurry and I'm and then I need to itty bitty bitty try to get the highlight out no 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 just let me draw on the highlight like this the palette looks okay it looks also like Morphe quality am I a coca-cola fan no like I drink maybe coca-cola once a year and that's it because it's free as it comes with a free drink in some food I ordered and that's it and then I don't even drink the full can I get for free I'm just drinking two sips and then I'm like oh I have to get water because I'm thirsty now I'm even more thirsty after drinking the cola than <laughs> than drinking non-cola I don't need the brushes yeah it's there if you're a cola fan and you want that get it it's not cola right it's coke you guys call it coke if you're a coke fan please get it <laughs> And then there is something I want so bad. Please, guys, pray for me that I get this. Please, because last time I tell you the story, the craziest story I've ever done for makeup. I, I stood up, I think they relaunched it at 2 a.m. in the morning or 3. And I had to work the next day. And I stood awake with my boyfriend. He stayed away from me with me too. Look at the color pop. Salomon collection because this is all my heart ever wanted and I had the product inside my shopping cart and I was ready to go the whole collection and I was like I was already dancing inside like this is all I ever wanted all I ever wanted and then I tried to check out and there came this huge weird note like saying we're not delivering to your country and I was like what? They're not delivering to Hong Kong anymore and I freaked out and then I was like you know what never mind I ship it to Austria we're not shipping to Austria and I was like what's going on Colourpop and it broke my heart because they didn't bought the license they had like restrictions on where to ship the collection to and I tell you <clears throat> I was so angry <laughs> Listen guys, I don't, I, I know, you shouldn't be traumatic over makeup. It's not about even the makeup. If you tell me in advance, I wouldn't stay awake, be all excited and then get disappointed and can't fall asleep the whole night. <laughs> no, it's kind of crazy because it's just makeup. But can you tell me in advance? Like that, that still hurts me. Colourpop, we have trust issues since that day. <laughs> anyway. Ways. Now they bring it back and I think they don't have, like they say like they will kind of like mm, solve the issue with the restrictions. I don't think they did. But I think I will send it to an American, how do you call it, like this, like the little post 
something I think I will send it there and then send it to Hong Kong because this collection is Silamo and I want it and I don't care if people said oh it's actually really lackluster I want it new collection from Patrick Top Beauty and this looks decent that this looks cute like I like this theme like for deeper and kind of like more pale I like that he kind of rounded it up anyways it comes with the matte sweet lipstick for 32 US dollars the precise lip crayons for 26 US dollars and the cream and powder blush to 33 US dollars available on Patrick Star's side and on Sephora on 22nd June and it's all about red and I like it I won't get it though. I think it's cute. It has it's net though. Not so really my thing as you know already. I don't have to always repeat myself. But I still think it's cute. That's it. Yeah guys, this is it actually. There are not any more releases I wanna talk about. Um I hope you liked today's video. I hope you have been entertained. Please leave me a comment or a like down below. Subscribe to my channel, please. Let's get it to 50. 50 <laughs> and yeah anyways i hope to see you soon in another video of mine thank you so much for watching and bye bye